home. What comes to mind when you think of the word home? Does it remind you of your mum's home-cooked meals or sleeping in your comfy bed at night? It might mean different things to different people, but the word home will always feel personal. What if you woke up one day and it was all gone? Imagine the bushfires all around you. You don't understand what they are. You didn't cause them. There's nowhere for you to go and you can't do anything about it. That's the life of native Australian animals living in remote wilderness areas. We're all aware of the Australian bushfires. We hear it all over the media, but most people don't understand how real it is and thus it affects you personally and destroys your home. You might remember last year when the fires burned out of control in California, the Amazon and Siberia. The loss of life, the loss of homes, the devastation of nature. It was tragic. Now come back to the place I call home, Australia. This is how much land we lost during the bushfires. This slide shows where the fires were in January 2020, which is when I was last in Sydney, staying in Bondi Beach during the school holidays. There was an orange haze that filled the sky. I felt sad when I saw the haze on the beach, even though the fires were so far away. My dad had left his motorbike outside one night, and in the morning, there was fine ash all over it. The haze would get less visible some days, but the sky was always tinted orange. This is where I call home. I had grown up here until I was nine. One billion animals have been killed in the Australian bushfires. Koala's already endangered population has decreased by more than half its numbers. However, koalas were not the only victims on the island. Tim Faulkner from Aussie Ark says that the intensity of these fires was hotter than ever. Usually the fires burn and leave plants to regrow. Due to the intensity of these fires, it destroyed everything. All animals have a role in the ecosystem. So as animals become endangered, the bush becomes more exposed and vulnerable to fires. The effect on the koala population is devastating. Even though the fires have ended, it is going to take time to bring back the bush and wildlife. It's impossible to know how long it will take for the ecosystem to recover. An ABC News report estimated it could take up to 20 years for a full recovery. It's only natural that during these disasters, people start to point fingers. It can be hard sometimes to step forwards and do something to help because it's too overwhelming and such a big problem. It can feel too difficult, so it's just easier to stay quiet and do nothing about it. I'm only 14 and live 4,655 kilometers away from Sydney. So I thought about what I could do. How could I spread awareness and still make a small difference? I want to be solution focused. I want to focus on how we can help and save Australian wildlife. I decided to raise money through my passion, painting. I have painted all throughout my life, going to art classes in Australia and continuing when I moved to Bali. I'd love to share this time-lapse video I created of me painting my koala for this project. It took me just under 40 hours to paint.
When I paint, I feel like there's no pressure and I can fully relax. Painting provides a challenge and makes me feel confident and proud when I finish. I decided to paint a picture of one koala with a simple white background so that people can focus on the koala itself. I painted one koala because I believe that every one koala we can save can make a difference. That koala can reproduce and there's less chance for the species to go extinct. When I first heard about the devastation of the wildlife, it reminded me of when I went on a family holiday to Hamilton Island and held a koala for the first time. I remember how defenseless and cuddly it was. Hearing about these bushfires made me think back to that sweet koala. It made me feel so sad and I wanted to help in any way I could. I created a GoFundMe page to help raise awareness and raise money. I launched my GoFundMe page last week and I'm well on my way to reach my goal of $1,000. I hope that my project can spread awareness. We can use social media and people can use their passions to make an impact. Here's how you can help. You can donate to my GoFundMe page called Painting for Wildlife. And as a thank you, I will gift you a file of my original koala painting. When I was looking for an organization to donate to, it was very important that they were reputable and that they would reintroduce the animals back into the wild. The money I raise will go to Aussie Ark, an Australian wildlife organisation that is helping feed and take care of the hurt Australian animals. Aussie Ark will secure a self-sustaining population of animals and protect their long-term future in a wild environment. Take a moment to think about what these animals are going through, how they, how they are being affected and their homes being destroyed. So when you think about what home means to you, remember that their home is my home, is your home. This is our planet, our ecosystem, our bushland, our forest, our home. Thank you. Yay!